Welcome back all you sports and gambling fans out there. Today we're doing some NHL betting coverage and joining me here, Dave Golikov, our very own SBR contributor. Today he's actually providing us uh, who are the winners and the losers of the tread day, uh, deadline. All right, man. So out of the six teams that you covered in this, uh, in this article, which one do you actually consider um, was the winner and, and, and why? Well, I actually think there was a number of winners at the trade deadline. I uh, spoke about the Montreal Canadiens, the Anaheim Ducks, and the New York Rangers as my biggest winners. Now let's go over them real quick. Ducks, to me, they picked up a bunch of good defensemen. Uh, James Wisniewski, potentially a top four type of guy. Um, you know, Cor Corbinian Holzer from the Leafs, uh, you know, picked up a couple other guys. Thomas Fleischman as well to help the offense. I think that the blue liners will be key for the Ducks because in the playoffs, their goaltending has been the weakness. So if they can bolster that blue line, or if they did bolster that blue line as they hope they did, uh, that may protect their goaltending in the playoffs and make them a much stronger contender. Now, for the uh, Montreal Canadiens, you know, this is a team that's tops in the East. They really did not need a whole lot of uh, renovations, so to speak. They needed some uh, minor tinkering, and they got it done. Uh, you know, picked up Jeff Petrie, a potentially top four uh, defenseman, uh, got some penalty killing help, some toughness, you know, mi very minor tweaks. And uh, this is a team that just needed one or two little pieces, and I think they got it. Uh, as well as uh, the New York Rangers. I mean, Rangers are one of my biggest winners. I know this one is uh, sort of on the fence for some people, but the Rangers uh, got an all-star caliber defenseman. And, you know, this is a team that's built on defense and goaltending. They just made their strength even stronger. And, uh, you know, their offense has been fantastic this year. They're actually second in the league in scoring. So when you factor that all in together, um, Rangers are really going for it. You know, they seem to have everything they need to make a cup run. That's why I wouldn't be surprised if Montreal and the Rangers are the last two teams uh, standing once again in the Eastern Conference. All right, man. So that means that we have three teams that are left out of your six that you picked. Uh, I'm guessing those are all losers. Now, who are they and why? Yeah, the losers are pretty clear there. I've got the Pittsburgh Penguins, really. This is a team that uh, came into the season as being a cup contender. Um, they don't look like it right now. Uh, under 500 since starting 22-10 and 10 in their first 32 games. And uh, really, they didn't do anything at the trade deadline. Um, I think they needed something to change the momentum, you know, give them a spark, some kind of life. They haven't done it, so I really don't have much faith in this Penguins team, even though they have the Crosby-Malkin connection. Next up, the Oilers and Sharks. Well, Oilers didn't do anything uh, at the trade deadline. Again, it's a team that was, uh, has been talking about rebuilding, you know, moving some of these young guys, um, you know, all I heard, all I've heard this morning is uh, they're staying the course. Well, staying the course has been dead last in the NHL for like the last four or five years. So maybe they wanted to change something around. Apparently not. Uh, other than moving Petri, they didn't do much. Couldn't move Hall, couldn't move Yakupov. Uh, so they really didn't do much of anything, which isn't good. Other team, Sharks as well. I mean, this team is just waiting. This is like... Uh, I'm trying to think of a good analogy, but this team is like waiting for the very last minute to do the rebuild. You know, I, I just have this vision of like you're trying to draw, drag a dog across the room. I don't know, take him outside or take him for a bath. There's a good example. And he's just like holding on to the carpet and like, you know, putting his feet on uh, in breaks mode. This Sharks team is falling apart at the seams. You know, veteran team, they see the writing on the wall. Their coach is gone at the end of the year. I have no idea what this team is doing by not trading off some of these assets. Well, they are assets. Uh, you know, Joe Thornton, Patrick Marlowe, get whatever you can for these guys. Niemi, you know, start moving these guys and start rebuilding. The Sharks are really, uh, you know, I don't know what they're waiting for, in my opinion. So I, that's why they're one of the biggest losers of the trade deadline. All right, man. Hey, Dave, good stuff. Thanks for all the insights here. We'll talk some more hockey again tomorrow. Everyone else, don't forget to check back with us tomorrow for some more sports coverage and your free picks. Till then, for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd.